Yo, what's up, guys? It's Atrix here. Today, in this video, I'll be showing you guys the top 5 best Windows emulators for Android devices released till 2023. I'll be telling you guys the minimum requirements of this emulator, along with that, its compatibility, which games can it run, and much more. So, if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe because we are so close to reaching 50,000 subscribers. I want to reach 50k subscribers as soon as possible on this channel. So, please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. With that being said, let's start with our today's list. On the number 5 spot, we have have our good old Exagia emulator. As you know, it is one of the oldest Windows emulators available for Android devices. It can run Wine on Android. And if you guys don't know, then Wine is actually an compatibility layer which makes you able to run Windows apps and softwares on Android devices. So as Exagia was one of the first emulators to be based on Wine and capable of running Windows games like GTA 4, it had to be included in my top 5 list and minimum requirements for Exagia are very very low. You just need Android version 7 or above and 3 to 4 GB of RAM, that's about it. Would I recommend you guys to use Exagear? No, because the project was discontinued. Exagear, I remember way back in 2018, I used to run Exagear emulator and now in 2023, the official Exagear team has left and there are some forked version of Exagear emulators but I wouldn't recommend you guys that because the number one spot of our today's video is going to be the best Windows emulator for Android. With that being said, let's move on towards our number four spot of today's video which is the Limbo PC emulator for Android. As you guys know, I have already made about five to 10 videos on Limbo emulator Android. We tried running Windows 11 on Android, Windows 10 on Android but unfortunately the project is no longer being updated. I mean there are some regular updates but there is no progress in terms of performance. Minimum requirements for Limbo emulator were as follows. Android version 8 or above, you should have a 64-bit Android device and also 3 to 4 GB of RAM. Now it depends upon the software which you want to run on Limbo emulator. If you try emulating Windows then obviously none of the functions will be 100% uh, working, for example gaming, just forget about gaming, Microsoft Word, Excel etc. It will take about an hour to open those. It's not really worthy of using but with the help of that emulator we can indeed perform some great experiments like running Windows 11 on Android. Whoever thought it would happen but I made it possible. Anyways let's move forward on the number 3 spot of our today's video we have the upcoming best Windows emulator for Android which is Cassia. As you know, we already saw a lot of benchmarks related to Cassia emulator for Android which is going to be releasing in early 2024. Here is one of the gameplay images of Cassia emulator. It provides absolutely amazing performance and it is better than the number 2 spot and number 1 spot of our today's video. But Cassia hasn't released yet that's why I have kept it on the number 3 spot. Let me talk about the features of this emulator. Cassia will also be Wine based but it will be using Fex Core. Fex emulator is also a Windows emulator for Linux I guess but through the components of that emulator Porting it to Android devices, Cassia will truly give the best peak performance of Windows games emulation on Android. You will be able to run games like GTA 4, GTA 5, yep GTA 5, even Steam will be working on Cassia emulator. That's so surprising because if you can run Steam on your Android devices then it's literally an PC. You can try out almost all PC games and hence Cassia will be the best Windows emulator for Android. If you guys want to stay up to date with all the latest Cassia emulator related news and information and whenever it's released uh, to stay up to date with the setup procedure then be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and like this video with that being said on the number two spot we have let's make a guess i'll give you guys five seconds just comment down below which windows emulator do you think is on the number two spot okay three two one let's go on the number two spot we have box 64 droid yep not that emulator but box 64 droid I spoke about that emulator but you will understand when I talk about the number one spot of today's video. As I mentioned, Box64 Droid is, uh, is playable. That's all you gotta know. GTA 5 bro, GTA 5, GTA 5. <laughs> yep, I am a bit over exaggerating it but nonetheless, uh, you will get some playable results. Minimum requirements for uh, Box64 Droid are as follows. You need a good Snapdragon processor Android device, Snapdragon 845 or above. Android version 10 or above for rooted devices, Android 12 or above for non-rooted devices, 6 to 8 GB of RAM. Now just like Exagear emulator and Cassia emulator, Box64 Droid is also based on Wine. But unlike Exagear, it has lot of features and also better performance. All of that but you also need high-end Android devices to try out Box64 Droid. Basically you'll need to execute a code on Termux and set up Box64 Droid then you can use custom Adreno Turnip drivers as well to improve the gaming performance 
performance uh, you also need input bridge it's an app uh, which lets you get on-screen touch controls for emulators like box 64 droid and exa gear as you know you can't really use keyboard and mouse at the same time and connect it to your android devices well unless you have a bluetooth keyboard or mouse that's why we use input bridge you get on-screen touch controls game controls and much more if you just go ahead and search a uh, box 64 droid gameplay test on youtube then you will find out tons and tons of huge titles like assassin's creed revelations uh, Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed 3 and much more that's pretty crazy for me even NFS Hot Pursuit Remastered, uh, NFS Rivals and much more only problem is that it won't be as advanced as Cassia Emulator it won't be supporting Steam or newer titles like Assassin's Creed Odyssey etc no bro are you kidding me don't expect much from these emulators let's move on towards our number one spot of today's video which is the WinLater Android. Now hear me out guys, WinLater is kinda sorta better because it is way easier to set up. That's my only explanation to why I kept WinLater on the number one spot and not the Box64 Droid. User friendliness is also an important measurement. It only takes about a minute or so to set up WinLater Android whereas for Box64 Droid you literally have to spend like about half an hour setting it up, finding the best driver, setting up input bridge and much more. In WinLater Android you get on-screen touch controls pre-applied from the app itself and also WinLater is based on Wine. It can't really run the level of games which Box64 Droid is capable of. For example, recently Box64 Droid managed to run Cyberpunk 2077 on Android. These games will not work on WinLater Android. The performance which it will offer won't be as good as Box64 Droid but hey, at least you will get a feel and experience of how it feels to emulate Windows games or softwares on Android devices because that's what WinLater is all about. To give you an basic experience of wine and there are some customizable options in winlater cn version i have already made a setup video on it that video will be on the i card above but in winlater cn you can change lot of drivers and also customize the emulator to get the best amount of performance possible just like box 64 droid but again it's a bit difficult to do if you are inexperienced in terms of emulation. Though WinLater can indeed run most of the games which Box64 Droid is compatible with because they are based on the same Wine versions. So games like NFS Hot Pursuit, Assassin's Creed, GTA 4, FIFA etc will be 100% playable. So let me know in the comment section down below which windows emulator will you use from this list and if you found this video helpful leave a like subscribe because as i said before we are so close to reaching 50k subscribers i can't wait man i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out